Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, let me introduce myself. My name is Yaisya Zara Saputra. I'm from Junior High School, MTA, Islamic Board School, Molong. And I'm standing here now. I want to tell a story about Tony Bin Ziyad. Have you ever heard the story about Tony Bin Ziyad? Okay, so just let me tell the story. Are you ready to listen it? Okay, so just start the story. Here it is. Tony Bin Ziyad, the convert of the Spaniel. Tony Bin Ziyad came from the Barbarians, the Nauzad tribe. He was a former slave who was freed by Musa bin Nuzir, the governor of Islam in North Africa. In the hands of Musa bin Nuzir, Tony embraced Islam along with the other Barbarians who submitted to his rule after the conquest of the Tanja area. It is said that after they converted to Islam, they practiced Islam well. Therefore, before Musa returned to Africa, he sent some Arab to teach them the Quran and the teachings of Islam. After that, Musa appointed Tony to be the rule of the Tanja area. The team of Morocco with a strength of 19,000 soldiers from the barbarians also complete with the weapons. The conquest of the Andalusia or Spain coincided with the cruelty European colonizers who at the time ruled by the cruel Gothic king named King Roderick. Women feel threatened of their chastity. Farmers are subject to high taxes and many more inhuman operations. Finally, most of the populations, like Christian and Jews, moved to Africa to find a more promising peace. At the time, Africa was a prosperous and highly tolerant area because it was under the auspices of an Islamic government. One of the millions of emigrants was Julian, the governor of Silka, whose daughter Florinda had been tainted by King Roderick. They begged Musa bin Nuzir, the viceroy of Islam in Africa, to liberate their country from the oppression of the unjust king. After obtaining the approval of the caliph, Musa bin Nuzir conducted their connections toward the southern coast of Spain. Finally, in the month of Rajab in 1970 Hijriah, or 711 Masehi, Musa bin Nuzir ordered his assistant, Tariq bin Ziyad, to attack the Spanish peninsula by leading 12,000 Muslim troops across the strait between Africa and the mainland Europe, which was parted by the Mediterranean Sea, with shapes given by Julian, the governor of Silka. It was on the 425 meter side rock on the southeast coast of Spain. Tariq ordered to burn in all of the ships that had crossed them. Of course, this order made the army Muslim astonished, like, why are you doing that? They asked. How are we going to come back later? Another asked. The Torik was called and remained in his positions. Torik bravely exclaimed, We didn't come here to go back. We only have a choice. Come for this country and stay here, or we are all martyred. Torik's words like wave that exploded the spirit of the Muslim soldiers. The Muslim army of 12,000 men fought the Gothic army of 100,000 troops. The Christian army was far superior in both numbers and weapons. But all that did not discourage the Muslim army after listening to a Torah speech who shook their souls to hunt for martyrs in the way of Allah. On July 19, 711 Masehi, the Muslim and Christian troops meet and fought the near of the mouth in the Barbat River. Torik split his army into four groups and spread them to Cordoba, Malaga, and Granada. And he himself and his main army he did to Toledo, the capital of Spain. But all cities surrendered without any significant resistance. The speed of movement, the prowess of Torik succeeded in creeping in crippling the granite of army. And even the King Roderick himself died in the 
bareback sniper. This extraordinary victory of Thoric discouraged the Spaniards, and since then they have not dared to face the Islamic army openly. So, from the story of Thoric, we can learn that we should have more spirit to combating our enemy. Although our strength is less than our enemy, but we should not surrender, and we may not surrender. Because Allah is always together with us. Like in Surah Muhammad, part of 7, Psalms, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Ya Ayyuhal Ladina Amanu In Tansurullah In Tansurullah Ya Surkum Ayusabit Akdamakum Which means who believe men? If you have the religion of Allah, surely that Allah will help you and confirm your positions. So, from the Surah Muhammad paragraph 7, we can learn that we can know that we should believe that Allah is always beside us. Allah is always together with us. Allah is will never leave us even if it's just one second. And Allah will always help us wherever we are. Just believe in that. Allah always together with us. So, that's enough for my story. And that's the end for my story. I hope you guys enjoyed my story. Thank you very much for the attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.